Hey y'all, Fab's the girl here. So I've heard a lot of reports about the IRS data retrieval tool not working in the 2022-2023 Fab's Fest, so I wanted to talk about that. And this is one of my favorite meals that I would make in college when I wanted something quick and cheap and I didn't want to ask my parents for money. And I love Top Ramen and I still have it every once in a while. So the IRS data retrieval tool for the 2022-2023 Fab's Fest has been acting very temperamental. On a couple live sessions that I've done here on TikTok, uh, and when I did my own IRS data retrieval tool option on my own FAFSA, it actually gave me an error message and then it kicked me out entirely. I was able to log in with my safe key and continue on where I had left off before it kicked me out. And you can always click on save FAFSA form on the top menu. So here are some other reasons why you may not be able to use the IRS data retrieval tool or it just simply wasn't even an option for you. So on the IRS website, when they ask you to verify your name and your address, make sure to reference your 2020 tax returns. A lot of people move and they forget and they put in their new address as opposed to the address that they put on their 2020 taxes. So make sure information matches your 2020 taxes. Another common reason is if your parents use a tax ID number, or aka an ITIN number to file taxes, they won't be able to use the IRS data retrieval tool. Also, if parents file their Puerto Rican tax return, or if they amended their taxes, they will not be able to use the IRS data retrieval tool. Also, if taxes were filed within three weeks electronically or within 11 weeks via mail, that information may not be available yet on the IRS website. Also, if parents filed a foreign tax return, they won't be able to use the IRS data retrieval tool. And finally, another common reason why you or your parent may not be able to use the IRS data retrieval tool is if you or your parent has one of these marital statuses married filing separately, married filed as head of household, or if your parents' marital status is unmarried and both legal parents live in together. If you choose these filing statuses on the FAFSA, you won't be able to use IRS data retrieval tool and you'll have to manually input the information. Now, what's really nice about the FAFSA is that next to those tax-related questions, you will see a question mark on the right side of the question. You can click on that and they'll provide guidance as to where to look on your tax returns if you have to manually input the information. So these are some of the most common reasons why IRS data retrieval tool doesn't work. And what do you guys think about my ramen? I love making it like this.